So let's compute some moduluses. Uh, so this is modular arithmetic. Uh, you can really think of modulus as remainder after division. So to find 10 mod 3, you can imagine good old long division and say if I divide 3 into 10, what do I get? Well, let's see here. 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, so I end up with 3 remainder. So if I take 10 divided by 3, uh, I get 3 with a remainder of 1, and that remainder is what we call the modulus. And so 10 mod 3 is 1. So but what happens if we try to find 15 mod 5? So that means we're dividing 5 into 15, and it goes in evenly, which means the remainder after division is 0. And so 15 mod 5 is 0. Uh, 2 to the 7th mod 5, this is actually not too bad to find because 2 to the 7th is 128. So if we want to find 128 mod 5, we divide 5 into 128. And uh, let's see here, 5 goes in. Uh, 5 times 25, remainder of 3. So we get 25, remainder 3, so 128 mod 5 is 3. Now notice that uh, we're writing it in sort of the elementary school remainder way here. Uh, you're probably also familiar with either writing it as 25 and 3 fifths as a fraction, or even 25.6 right, converting it into a decimal. And you can actually take advantage of these other approaches to help you find moduluses using a calculator. So let's take an example, let's look at that. So suppose I wanted to find 313, three, well, 31,345 mod 419. So I want, wanting to divide this way. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna pull up my calculator and I'm gonna say 31, 3, 4, 5 divided by 419. And I get 74.890 stuff. So I know that the whole part here is 74, right? Uh, and so one thing I could do is I could just multiply 74 times 419 and find my remainder at this point. Uh, and in fact, that's not too bad to do. Um, we could say 74 times 419 is 31,006, 31,006, uh, and then subtract to find the modulus. Uh, but I'm actually going to show you another way to do it. Um, if we go back and we find our 31,345 divided by 419 here, oops, 419 here, which was, ah, let me try that again. 31,345 divided by 419, is 74.89. So what we really want is the remainder part. So let's go ahead and subtract 74 equals, and that gives me the 0.89. Now this, this 0.809, uh, is the fractional remainder, right? This is the decimal equivalent to some number out of 419. So to figure out what out of 419, we can just multiply this by 419. Da. That's not right. Uh, let's try this again. We're multiplying by 419, and there we go, 339. And so 339 is the remainder. Again, the idea here is that 339 out of 419, which would be the fractional remainder, was that 0 .80, 0 0.809 term. And so by multiplying by 419, we were able to figure out this numerator. We were able to figure out the modulus of 319, sorry, 339.